Cinderella. I'll be right there. It's awful. It doesn't look like us at all. We're much prettier than that. You made me look fat. Calm down, ladies. It's only an outline. I still have to fill in the color and touch up the details. Huh? huh? Here I am. Are you finished already? Almost, but we're very disappointed. Where did you find him? He's incompetent. I met him in the village square last week. He painted such wonderful portraits. I thought he'd be perfect. Well, you were perfectly wrong. I should know better than to trust your judgment. As for you, you're fired. What? We'll hire another painter. Hmm. A true artist. One who knows how to portray exquisite beauty. Once we do get an acceptable portrait, we should show it to the prince. He won't resist falling in love with me then. Excellent idea, Catherine. Let's just hope this unfortunate delay doesn't allow time for another girl to steal our seat on the throne. Wait, please, don't go. You heard her, I'm fired. I'm very sorry things turned out this way. I really think they're being unfair. No need to apologize. I knew the second I met them, they'd be difficult. Oh my goodness, am I dreaming or is that a work by Zoré? You know him? Of course. There isn't an artist who doesn't dream of such genius. This painting is a true masterpiece, and the reason I became a painter is because I saw one similar to this when I was a little boy. It was my mother's favorite. She took great care of it. I'm sure. It's quite hard to find his early work these days. I've always wanted to meet Zoré. Would you be able to tell me where I could find him by any chance? I've heard that he lives like a hermit in an old castle. It's up on a peak surrounded by gloomy fog near... Near the waterfall on the north side of Emerald Castle. The north side of Emerald Castle. A portrait. It's the best way for me to make Charles realize he is the future king and to act accordingly. Unfortunately, the artist who did my portrait is retired and I don't know any others who would qualify. Leave the details to me, Majesty. I just happen to know of an excellent painter for you. But he is rather eccentric and won't leave his studio. If you like, I can escort Prince Charles to him myself today. I knew I could count on you, Duke Zarel. Thank you. The honor belongs to me, Majesty. You asked for me, Father? Charles, excellent timing. You're about to leave with Duke Zarel. He's going to escort you to an artist's studio. You're having your portrait done. Father, why him? Prince Charles. Portraits take a long time. We should get going. It might be a trick, Charles. I'll follow you. Mm-hmm. I'm sure he's up to no good, but I couldn't say no in front of my father. We'll have to find a way to stay out of his trap, that's all. Without a doubt, Zoré, you're the greatest artist of your time. You're aware of my powers, then? That's why I'm here. Uh, you expect me to pick up my paintbrush for such a ridiculous sum? Of course not. I know what an original Zoré is worth. Wait for me right here. This is strange. He's not home. Oh, someone is here. I can smell it. Look at all these portraits. Aren't they beautiful? And every one is by Zoré. I don't know much about art, but these pictures give me goosebumps. What do you mean? Who are you? Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. I, I would like to speak to Mr. Zoré, please. What for? Zoré is a very busy man. I don't have time to be playing games, young lady. Oh. From the looks of you, you haven't got a penny. 
I have no interest in talking to you. Please, sir, don't send me away. I've come to commission a portrait. You have 100 gold pieces? 100 gold pieces? If you don't have it, go away. No, wait. There's one of your early paintings in my home that was my mother's favorite. And it's always been mine, too. That's why I came to you, sir, to ask you to paint my sister's portraits. But I... I can't give you 100 gold pieces. I'm sorry to have bothered you. Wait. I want to see you in the light. Huh? You have a lovely face. I don't believe I've seen such beauty. Tell me, what is your name, dear girl? My name is Cinderella, Mr. Zore. Well, Cinderella, I'm going to paint you. You want to paint my portrait? There must be some mistake. I don't have 100 gold pieces. <laughs> I don't want your money. Can you believe it, Patch? I'm getting my portrait done by Zoré. Quiet. Sorry. Cinderella? Oh. Yes, Patch, I'm fine. Just a little stiff, that's all. Oh, what's happening? I feel so tired all of a sudden. All I want to do is sleep. I'm not myself at all. Cinderella, what is it? Wake up, Cinderella. Wake up. Wake up. Bring her back here. I haven't finished yet. Come back. Wait, you can't take her away until I finish. Come back. Oh, what happened to Cinderella? Wait. Come back here. I haven't... Are you going to make us wait much longer? If so, I'll take the money back. I'm ready. <laughs> I wish I could, but I don't even know myself. She just went to sleep while he painted her portrait. It was very strange. We need to find help. Whoa! Look who's here! Miss Paulette! Huh? Oh. My poor girl, how do you feel? Oh, Miss Paulette, what happened to me? Wait, it's coming back. Zori was painting my portrait, and then I... Zori? You don't mean Zori, the famous painter, do you? Yes. So he's still up to his old tricks, I see. We absolutely must get your portrait out of his castle. I wonder what Zarel's plan is. Why did he bring me here? And what does this old hermit have to do with it? <laughs> Zarel, you're distracting my model. Leave us. Your presence is not needed. As you wish, Zore. sensation. It feels as if all my strength has been taken away. Many years ago, Zore retired here to study a dark sort of magic. Now when Zore paints a portrait, the spirit of his model is captured in the painting. That is how Zore takes over the lives of certain people in exchange for fabulous sums of money. It almost happened to you. But how can that be? My mother's painting is so beautiful, it's full of warmth and hope. I know. At one time, Zore was a marvelous painter, a true genius, until the fateful day when something terrible happened. Terrible? Awful. It's mm -hmm. dreadful. Mm -hmm. Now you wait here. I'll go and take care of this. But it's too dangerous. Don't worry. I'll be just fine.
Where are you, Zore? Answer me. Zore is extremely busy. He has someone posing for him. Are you lost? Perhaps I can help you be on your way. I know this man. What's his title again? Ah, oh, yes, it's Duke Zarel. What is he doing in Zore's castle? No, I'm not lost. I came to visit my old friend. I was in the neighborhood and just thought I'd pop in as a surprise. <laughs> How thoughtful of you. I'll tell him you called. In the neighborhood, hmm? Ah, oh, such memories. I'd almost forgotten how talented he really was. Especially with portraits. Hey, come back here! Where are you going? That's Prince Charles. Oh, stop! What are you doing? Oh! <laughs> there, this ought to keep you out of my hair for a little while. What's the meaning of this? This is no way to treat a visitor! Someone help me help! Oh my, this means Cinderella isn't the only one in danger. Prince Charles is too. Oh, if only I hadn't dropped my magic wand. Patch, I need your help! That's Paulette. Huh? Miss Paulette is calling me. Are you sure about that? Yes, she's in trouble. Patch, be careful! I have to help! <laughs> A few finishing touches and it's all over. The prince will be trapped, captured in his final portrait. It's almost too easy. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Patch, no! Where are you going? Hey, this is not the time for games! No, that's Prince Charles! Now, when Zore paints a portrait, the spirit of his model is captured in the painting. This is terrible. The portrait is nearly finished. What can I do? Who are you? <gasps> Why do I have the feeling I know you from somewhere? Oh, Mr. Zore. Cinderella. I'm sorry about what happened before. I just needed some fresh air. Can you finish my portrait now? Of course. I'm almost done. Wait for me outside. No, please. Finish it right away. I really can't wait another minute. <gasps> what is the meaning of this? Get out of here! Zori is with a client! Let me go! Well, you're out of line! In my studio, I decide who I paint! Not this time you don't. I gave you a small fortune to paint the prince's portrait, and that's what you're going to do. I'll send her in as soon as you've obeyed my orders. What are you doing, Zori? No one gives me orders, no matter how much they pay. Have a seat, my dear. I'll finish yours first. Thank you! Oh, you're as stubborn as a mule. Help! Someone get me out of here! We're here, Paulette! Oh. Patch, thank goodness! Paulette, Patch, please make it in time! Patch, can you hear me? I need you to do as I say. There's no time to lose. You have to get a hold of the portraits of Prince Charles and Cinderella and wash them away in water. It's the only way to release their souls from the paintings. After that, try to find my magic wand, please. Hurry, we're counting on you. We already have a magic wand. You help Paulette. I'll do the rest. <sighs> That's all we need. Cinderella, wake up. Get rid of that dog, Zoral. Go on, shoot! What is he doing? Come back here! That's my portrait! Come back here, you flea bag! Thanks to my powers, your beauty will live forever in this painting. Stop, you cur! Uh, uh. 
What happened? <gasps> Cinderella, are you all right? Cinderella, can you hear me? Answer me, it's Charles. <laughs> Soon Cinderella will find eternal life inside her lovely portrait. What do you mean? As soon as I paint her other eye, you'll find out. Here's your walk, Paulette! I'll slide it under the door. Choo-choo, bingo, thank you. I won't let you use your dark magic against Cinderella. Give me the painting. You're no match for me, Charles, but I'll let you win this battle. That way I too will live forever. Well, what are you waiting for? Strike me down if you dare. Come back! Give me the portrait! <gasps> Surrender, Zoray. You're not going anywhere. Oh. Uh. I won't give you this painting. There's still a chance. This is the first portrait I've wanted to paint in a very long time. Cinderella is safe now, Charles, but I think it's best she not see you. Go on home. She's right, Charles. My horse is over there. Let's go. Miss Paulette! Miss Paulette, are you all right? What about the prince? Everyone's fine, dear. The prince went home already. Oh, good. I'm so glad. In better days, Zoré was a very sought-after artist. He painted the portraits of many royals and other nobles in the kingdom. His talent was greatly admired, and everyone wanted to pose for him. He was adored by all until that fateful day when a terrible sickness made its appearance in the land. Many were lost to it, including most of those whose portraits had been painted by Zoré. And that's when an awful rumor about Zoré began, saying he was capable of imprisoning souls with black magic. And soon the rumor had spread throughout the kingdom. Zoré was driven away. He came to this castle and managed to remain undisturbed. Eventually, he came to believe the rumors himself, and he learned how to capture their souls. Poor Zoré, all this because of a misunderstanding? Mr. Zoré, I can understand why you turn towards the dark power, but talent like yours can only come from a truly good heart. Do you think you could paint another portrait for me, sir? But I, I tried to capture your soul, and now you want me to paint you again? Yes. Ever since I was a little girl, I've wanted to have you paint my portrait. I can't miss my chance now. <sighs> <laughs> it's all right. The rain I sent washed away those gloomy forces that had settled in your heart. From now on, you will paint as you did before, with warmth and hope. Thank you. You've given me back my life. <laughs> <laughs> 